he's this funny guy where he has so many different talents and so many different past lives of experiences and communities that he's touched. And you would go into a different community and you realize this huge influence he has that you had no idea. The work he's done as a playwright, as a director, as an artistic director, a voice of conscience, he's been a voice of artistic quality, he's challenged us. He has allowed people to share their talents and this community has completely embraced it. This year's winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award is a groundbreaking community builder and artist. Born in 1947 in Vancouver, Canada, Rick Shiomi showed an early commitment to community. In the 1970s, he helped organize and run Vancouver's Powell Street Festival, a celebration of Japanese-Canadian arts, culture, and heritage. Powell Street is Vancouver's longest-running community arts festival. Before Rick was a theater artist, uh, he played in a folk band. And when David Henry Wong and Philip Gatanda came up to Vancouver for a folk festival, I believe, was the first time that they had met. And they found out that Rick could play mandolin. Rick invited us all up to play um, concerts in Vancouver. Well, while we were staying at Rick's house, Philip and I had both written our first plays. And Rick had written a short story and he asked us to read it. Philip read it and gave uh, Rick the idea of turning it into a play. And that became Yellow Fever. Produced in California, off-Broadway, and internationally, Yellow Fever became one of the most successful and seminal plays in the Asian American canon, launching Rick into a theater career that has lasted over 30 years. In the early 1990s, Rick visited Minnesota as a guest lecturer. There he met his future wife and moved to Minnesota. In 1997, Rick founded Mu Daiko, Minnesota's only professional taiko drumming group. Mudaiko's growth and success eventually led to changing the organization's identity to Mu Performing Arts, where both Theater Mu and Mudaiko reside. Through his leadership, Mu has nurtured and cultivated artists for 20 years. You know, Rick really transformed uh, the nature of the Twin Cities theater community. He really saw and had vision, unlike many other people that start their own theaters, that he was going to have to create a talent pool and he did so from the very beginning saying, I see this person's potential in two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years. There weren't a lot of Asian Americans in the Twin Cities 20 years ago. I saw this crazy little ad that said, seeking Asian American actors and actresses for a play about Korean adoption. And I said, well, I'd love to audition. He goes, great. And I said, but I don't have a car. I just moved here. And he said, well, I'll pick you up. He picked me up, took me to this uh, church basement, auditioned me, and then drove me home, and then cast me in the play. So that was my first meeting with Rick. He has filled a void um, where there was nothing, and now there's this thriving, amazing, brilliant community of people. He has endless energy, optimism, and vision. He is a playwright, director, mentor, prop master, set builder, taiko musician, composer, educator, and anything you name it, get the job done person. I can't think of any other artist I know who's able to both be really um, a wonderful artist and create work of his own, which has a huge impact on the field. As his artists grew and more um, Asian American actors came, he listened to them when they said that we want to do more than folk tales. And let's then now put social justice as part of our mission and, and he, he listened and he was willing to change and he was bold about it. In a lot of academic circles and in the Asian American community, it's David Henry Wong, it's Philip Gatanda, and it's R.A. Shiomi. Those are the founders of the modern Asian American theater movement. Winner of the 2008 Sally Ordway Irvine Award for Vision, Rick's work was also recently accepted into the Library of Congress. You know, his influence will be felt for many years to come. We've um, had a pretty long history together, uh, maybe longer than either of us would care to admit, but it's been a great history. Congratulations on getting this award. I respect you a lot. I love to spend time with you. You've always been the adult in the room, and um, I love you.